right out for the ball game. Antonio Brown, Levante David, Gronk, and Richard Sherman. Um, real good week of preparation. And uh, obviously this is uh, a team that uh, I think is on the rise. And uh, we're going to take our best to make sure we beat them. Did you get good news on Antoine? Yeah, he passed protocol yesterday. How's uh, Jalen Darden looking? Oh, the more so. Yeah, he's he's fine in his role. He'll be more than he'll be more than ready. Coach Tom Moore probably forgot more football than most of us will ever know. How much of an asset is he to your staff? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, he's he's my sounding board. I mean, he like you said, he's seen so much in this game and coached so many great players. And uh, you know, I lean on him tremendously and always have. Do you think JPP has a shot? Yeah, I think so. We'll we'll, we'll see, but. Uh, Shoulder and hand. Combination. Yeah, just same combination. In, in no sense, aggravating and practice and let him play on Sunday. Was he able to do anything today at all? No. He Coach, could have, but I didn't let him. Sorry. Coach, the Bears want to run the football. That's what they want to do. Is this going to be a good test for your defense? Oh, it is every week. Yeah, I'm the same thing last week. And the way they run it, you know, I, I really like the running back. And, uh, and the quarterback adds another dimension. So. Um, it'll be a really good test for us, two, two good forces. Their run game, our run defense. So it should be a fun. Coach, after watching the Buffalo game, people talk about when you're on the road, play for the tie now, or play for the win. Now, when you get into overtime, you get to call the toss. Is it an advantage to go for a tie now when you're on the road? I, you know, every, every one of those games um, is so different. What's going on in the fourth quarter? Can we stop them? If you can't stop them, go for the win, you know, because if you're going to get the coin toss and lose, why, why the hell not go for the win? You know, now if you're playing really, really well, you dominated the fourth quarter and you came back, oh, I'm playing for the tie and take it to overtime for sure. So each each and every one is so different. With JPP, I mean, he's a guy that never likes to come off the field no matter what, right? But, like, do you have to do some load management with him, especially when you have a guy like Turner? Yeah, it helps so much, yeah. And, uh, you know, we can we can – decrease or increase his snaps and then get them out there together, you know, as much as we can. But uh, yeah, and that really helps. So you're about a third of the way through the season. Um, who have you seen the most improvement and growth through? Hmm, that's a good one. Um, I, I put Tom up there first, you know, and think Leonard uh, on offense. Um, all the rookies. I've really done the job I hope they would, and they're more than ready to play. Defensively, uh, probably Joe. Um, I think Devin's playing his, his role really, really well. And um, and I think Jamel Dean's improved a bunch. Bruce, with, with Gronk out again, you generally try to have a third tight end up on the 53. To do that, you'd probably have to make a move to free up a spot on the 53. Would that be somebody going on IR, or would that be a cut? Or? No, we actually could bring Dion up if we want to because he was he was a COVID rev, 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 rise one time. So if we wanted to make that move, we could. 